Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and if you are new, hey, hi, hello, my name is Sarah, and welcome to this pick a card reading. So today, you guys, we are going to be looking at a wish that will be coming true for you in the next 30 days. So what I need you to go ahead and do for me is I need you to look at the three images of the mushrooms, and I need you to choose the image that you are the most drawn to. And once you have chosen on your image, I will have the timestamps in my description box as well as in the comment section. And you can find the pile and then click on that link and it will be taking you directly to your reading. If you feel called to more than one pile, that's totally fine. It just means that there is more than one message that you guys may need to hear for today. And if you are not drawn to any of the piles, that's also okay. It just means that you guys were not meant to hear this message and I will just see you in the next one. So before I go ahead and get started with pile one, I just wanna let you know that I do have all of my links in my description box down below. If you guys are wanting to check out my TikTok, my Instagram, or if you wanna book a private reading, with me everything is in the description box down below with all of my links so that is all that i have to say i'm gonna go ahead and get started with pile one i will see all of you guys very very soon hey pile one welcome to your pick a card reading all about the next wish that will be coming true for you in the next 30 days so you guys i have a card that i just pulled for you and it says number 31 luck lime I was hearing turn that frown upside down when I picked that card up for you and it's funny because I just I feel really tired with this pile pile one are you feeling like you guys are tired or stuck or exhausted I just I'm kind of getting the sense of like I'm done I'm feeling overwhelmed I think you guys are going to be extremely lucky in the next 30 days. Like, I'm getting a sense that you guys are going to be extremely lucky, but I'm hearing believing it till you see it. So I really feel like your energy right now, it just seems like you're lacking energy or you feel overwhelmed or you just feel like things are not really going your way. And when I was actually reading the booklet for that card, because it comes with one, um, it's, it was talking about how the energy that you may be going through, you may be finding yourself in the middle of a situation that's very difficult or it seems like it keeps repeating itself and it's over, it's going over and over and over again, like in some sort of a loop. And it's kind of funny that you chose the mushroom that you did because when I first saw the mushroom, it was making me think of like an old 90s RPG game. Like, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but like the old RPG games, they have like a certain certain animation style and it kind of made me think of that um it almost made me think of like I don't know why I'm getting this but it made me think of um Harvest Moon or it made me think of like Super Mario like Super Paper Mario or, or something like that I don't know why I'm thinking of those games um or even like a Game Boy game like a Game Boy Advance game like the graphics kind of look like that like the the Pokemon games that you could get for like the Game Boy Advance um, it kind of made me think of that animation style, but again, it talks about nostalgia, it talks about the past. So I feel like right now you guys are just really hung up on the past. You're hung up on past things not going well for you. And I think the wish, like one of the wishes that will be coming your way in the next 30 days is you guys are going to be experiencing this sense of luck that you've never had before. I think this is going to be like almost, I'm hearing protection in my head too. So I feel like you guys are worried that even if you were to receive this luck, because I'm getting a lot of doubt from you, Pile One, I'm not going to lie. Um, this luck that you're going to be experiencing, you're already doubting it as I'm talking about it because I think you may have been watching other pick a cards lately and they've been telling you like, oh yeah, you're about to receive this blessing or this abundance is about to come into your life and you're like, yeah, whatever, I'll believe it till I see it and nothing has been happening for you. I think you've been getting told this for a, quite a long time now, pal one, and nothing is happening and it's almost like your optimism for like, yeah, the world is my oyster. I can manifest and create what I want and then it's like the world is just like punching you over and over and over again of like your things just not going the way that you want it to and it's like your optimism is like deep pleading over time and I'm kind of getting like you guys are almost on your last straw 
Um, you're basically like talking to yourself, talking to the universe of like, okay, universe, this is it. I'm not going to push anything. I'm not going to fight for anything. I'm just going to allow things to be, right? You're just going to let the universe do its thing because you're done fighting and you're done trying. And I'm really sorry that I'm saying this because it just seems like you guys are mentally just over it. And I feel for you. I feel really bad that you're feeling this way. Um, I'm going to keep it really real with you, Pile One. I am hearing that I need to kind of give you some tough love right now. And the reason why I'm saying this is I actually am hearing, what do you want? I keep hearing that in my head over and over. What do you want, actually? Like, spirit wants to know what would make you happy. I actually feel like maybe one of the reasons why you guys clicked on this video to begin with is because you guys may have been trying to manifest something into your physical reality in terms to money, in terms to a property, in terms to something that you can physically touch in hopes that if you have this thing, it would make you happy. But your spirit guides are asking you, like, yes, you're talking about how you want to have money. Yes, you want to talk about how you want to have, like, financial security or a home. Like, I'm seeing, like, money finance stuff that's really coming up for this pile. But your spirit guides are asking you, like, what do you want? Like, when you wake up in the morning every day, are you thinking about that brand new car that you want? Or are you thinking about the feeling of what that brand new car could give you? It's not the item in itself that you want. It's the feeling and the validation that it would give you, Pile One. And your spirit guides are asking you, like, what do you actually want? What are you craving? Are you craving a physical object? Are you craving the feeling or the validation that this thing would give you? Are you craving admiration? Like, what do you actually want? Um, because I think right now you are not getting the results that you want because either you keep changing your mind about what you want. Maybe you guys are unsure of even what you're wanting to manifest to begin with. Um, but I will say that there is something about protection and security that I was feeling for you very heavy. You want to feel safe. You want to feel peace of mind. You want to feel like whatever you guys want to manifest, that it's not going anywhere. And I want to say for you right now, this luck that you guys are about to be manifesting into your life in the next 30 days is something that's stable. Because I'm seeing the 31 as a four, if you add that together, that's all about permanency, legacy, stability. Your spirit guides want you to manifest based on your sense of purpose, based on what do you want long term. I think right now you're trying to manifest things that you know you think will bring you enjoyment in the moment like almost like instant gratification but your guides really want you to focus on what do you want your life to look like 10 years from now um i think that's why i just i kind of get that you guys don't really know what you want i just i keep hearing that and i'm not trying to call you out but you you just feel very confused right now pal one i think you are confused about what you want your life to look like, which is why you feel like you are losing hope and faith right now, because you don't really know what the future is going to be looking like. So I'm kind of getting this vibe from you, Pal One, that you kind of just want the universe to surprise you, but the universe is like, we can surprise you, but we need like a, a main theme or a basis of what you want in general. Because um, I think you guys are tired of trying to control the narrative. I think you just want something good to happen for you. Um, and that is going to be happening is everything that you put your heart, your mind, and your soul into is going to be lucky. You guys are kind of being seen as the magician card where the magician is someone that has all the tools that he needs. He has potential to make something bigger for himself. But again, it's like a clean slate. There's no set in stone um way of having whatever it is that you want it's almost like you guys are an artist right and you have a piece of pen and a paper or crayons or paint or whatever right you have opportunity to make something but you haven't really decided on what you want to create yet right you have all of these opportunities and ideas for whatever the heck that you want and right now your spirit guides want to bless you with an opportunity for an insane amount of luck but it's up to you what you use that luck for right 
with great I always get this stuck in my head whenever I do pick a card readings for certain piles but it's always that Spider-Man quote of with great power comes great responsibility so you guys have a lot of power and wealth and knowledge that's ready to be expressed but it's up to you what you do with it right um I know that took me a long time to get to that message but that is what I was channeling for you from your guys's card as well as the mushroom and what I'm going to be doing pile one is I'm going to be shuffling cards on camera today so if you want to give me a couple moments while I do that and if you want to skip this part you can um but that is what I'm going to be doing right now for pile one spirit what are they about to be manifesting in the next 30 days what wish is about to be coming true for my pile one people so you got solitude and it says, think of being alone as meaning that you're all one in tonal harmony, harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. There's something about how you guys, I know this is not what this card says, but I was really feeling something about manifestation in terms to freedom. You guys want to feel like you're independent. You want to feel like you can do things by yourself. And oh my God. Look at the bottom of this deck. It literally has the manifestation card on here. And it says, be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. I'm, I'm telling you, I think there's a sense of you being able to listen to the quiet voice that is in your mind. I don't think you know a clear and cut answer of like, this is what I want to manifest. I think your spirit guides are trying to help you um, help give you inspiration of like, hey, you want a change in your life, but you don't know what that is, but we're going to give you the tools for you to change your life when you decide you know what you want, right? So I am actually getting that in the next 30 days, it's going to be like really minuscule stuff. Like, yes, it's going to be big things, but I'm also hearing something about minuscule things. So you guys are just going to be lucky with everything. And it could be really small stuff. Like for example, you're driving, right? And you just start getting all green lights and you're like, wow, like I haven't had to stop at a, a traffic light at all for like the past 10 minutes. It's like little stuff like that. Um, maybe you guys are deciding like, oh, I want to go to the coffee shop and I want to go get a coffee, right? And then you go to the coffee shop and someone had already paid for your coffee, like you're in the drive through and someone had already went up and paid for your coffee as a way to, you know, pay it forward, right? But it's like little things like that. I feel like spirit is going to start off small with little, little lucky serendipitous things where you're like, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. Um, and I think the reason why they want to do this is they're almost going to be testing you in a way. They want to see how you react to these little lucky moments, right? They want to see what you do and how you guys go about your day after these things happen because they want to see what type of potential you have in terms to your manifestations. I think they're trying to see how much are you willing to go ahead and make changes in your life. Like I, I think right now, they're trying to figure out what you like and what you don't like. And I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but it's like making me think of when you start dating someone for the first time and you're like kind of getting to know them and you're trying to find things that they like and you're starting to learn about like certain behaviors and behaviors and stuff like that. And they have like certain quirks and things that they like in partners and things that they don't like in partners. It's like God, universe, and spirit is literally like trying to get to know you. They're trying to figure out like, what do they like? What do they don't like? They're, they're trying to like basically impress you is what I'm hearing. So I know that's a really weird message, but I feel like they're trying to figure out what is underneath the surface of you to get to the root of what's making you feel stuck. I think they want to know what would truly make you happy and not just like the superficial stuff. Um, I'm kind of getting for you one of the things that you guys are going to be extremely lucky in pile one is something that has to do with an adventure in terms to discovering something, discovering yourself. There's like something about a passion or you finding something or you discovering something about yourself. Um, let's clarify that really quick. What is this talking about spirit guides? Because I'm feeling something in terms to discovering. 
So it says shine brightly like the star that you are, eclipse in Leo, 29 compassion. So I'm feeling there's this, sorry, you guys, I'm going to move this down. There's this message that I'm feeling from your spirit guides where they're trying to get you to open up. I don't know why I'm feeling this. I think you guys are a little bit closed off. Um, I think one of the blessings, which I don't know if you guys are actually manifesting this for yourself, but I'm seeing recognition coming to you in the next 30 days. So some of the lucky things that you guys are going to be experiencing is people are going to be a lot more interested in what you have to say in the next 30 days. People are going to be trying to reach out to you and maybe get you out of the house more. I'm seeing something about you being more social in the next 30 days. And I'm kind of getting that you guys may not have even been wanting to manifest this necessarily. Um, but I'm kind of seeing something about how your spirit guides, one of the wishes that they want to give to you, something that you aren't even manifesting yourself, is they want you to be around people that truly inspire you, people that, you know, help unleash your kind of self, people that kind of get you out of your comfort zone, because I'm really sensing about how your spirit guides want you to discover things about you that you like because again I'm, I'm kind of seeing that your spirit guides want to get to know you and for them to get to know you you got to have to figure out that for yourself right maybe you guys are so closed off and so introverted that you kind of get in habits and routines and you don't really know the parts of yourself that are wanting to be expressed and so I'm seeing something about how there's going to be certain people or coincidental things where it's going to be requiring you to be noticed more or get more attention or meeting new people where you're going to be having to open up about yourself or trying new things or traveling to new places. So I'm seeing something about how one of the lucky things that's happening is you getting out of your comfort zones and experiencing new things in life, which in turn is like, I feel like what's going to be happening with that is you guys are going to be meeting new people. There's something about how you're going to be meeting new people and I'm really getting there's going to be one person in particular that will have a lot of love for you. And it, I don't know if it's like necessarily romantic pile one. It could just be friendly. I'm hearing admirer in my head. So I'm seeing something about how you guys have someone that either just wants to be friendly with you. They want to like actually get to know you on like a soul level. This could even be seen as like a new best friend. But I'm seeing this as someone that just really vibes with your energy. And you being around this new person could actually be really good for you because I'm seeing that it could actually be healing something within your soul. And what I mean by that is I, I just looked at the bottom of the deck and we have rebalance and I'm noticing that we're getting very similar numbers here of 31. 31 turns to four, but maybe the 31st of the month or whenever you guys watch this could be significant for you. Um, this turns into an 11 and then this turns into a four. So that could also be November 4th. That could be a significant date for someone here. Um, but if not, pal one, I'm just seeing something in terms to your self-expression, your identity, and how you view yourself as well as you feeling safe, stable, and protected. That is something that's going to be a blessing for you in the next 30 days. You guys are going to be feeling stable in your identity. You're going to be feeling very much like, I know my purpose, I know myself, and I'm also seeing something about how there's going to be people in your life that will be helping you find that for you, or they're going to be helping bring that out of you so that you can be able to shine and be the person that you are meant to be. Because I'm just getting a lot of hiddenness and closed offness from you. Um, I don't know if you mean to do that, pal one, but I'm actually hearing something about how maybe you guys are kind of like feeling a little bit burnt out because maybe people have been disappointing you lately, right? And you guys have been kind of just sticking to yourself and focusing on yourself, which is really good, by the way, because uh, I do see that you guys have been trying to heal and kind of like lick your wounds, if you will, pal one. But there's something about how in the next 30 days... You guys may be meeting your soul tribe. You guys may be meeting new friends. For some of you, you guys actually may be meeting a new um, 
love partner that's going to just really get you and I'm seeing something about how this person is really going to be highlighting your best qualities in yourself. They're going to be helping bring out a really happy and positive side out of you which in turn is going to be even boosting your luck even more so. So that is something that I'm seeing for you that your spirit guides really want to gift to you in the next 30 days. And I'm seeing that it could be towards the end of a month. So for example, if you are watching this in the month of September, I am recording this on September 19th. I'm most likely going to be posting this on September 20th, but you guys could be starting to experience these changes the 29th through the 31st of the end of this month. But again, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you guys happen to click on this reading, it could be the end, towards the end of a month for you, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some more cards and see what wish is about to be coming true for you. My pile one people. So we have the seven of pentacles here, okay? We have the three of cups. I'm telling you, friendship. I'm seeing friendship and celebration. Let's see what else is going on here. We also have the nine of swords. I'm going to pull one more tarot card for you guys of what your spirit guides are wanting to manifest. And we got the death card. Wow. End of a cycle. So you guys are literally ending some sort of anxiety, some sort of mental strife, some sort of um, hearing insecurity. I'm going to use my dice to kind of clarify what each of these tarot cards is referencing to so hold on i really want to start off with that death card because i want to see what exactly that could be talking about for you so we have the 10th house we have we have capricorn and we have the moon i'm hearing something about how there's going i'm hearing insecurities again there's an insecurity on how people publicly recognize you in terms to the workplace, in terms to possibly your money, your reputation. Like again, it's like physical stuff that people can see. So the 10th house makes me think of what people know you for, things that you guys focus on every day. And a lot of the time this talks about your money and career. Um, because again, our public image is based on our assets, unfortunately. So that's usually what that makes me think of. Um, Capricorn actually is ruled by the 10th house and th these are both ruled by Saturn, which again, Saturn is hard work, discipline, obstacles, delays. And then the moon can talk about your roots, your feelings towards things, how you comfort yourself, your gut instincts, your reactions, right? Um, your emotional state. And I'm seeing that what's going to be ending for you in the next 30 days is how you feel in terms to how people feel towards you. So I'm seeing a sense that you guys are going to be finding your own sense of justice and val- I don't know why I wanted to say justice. Um, you're going to be finding your own sense of justice and validation without needing the external validation of other people. And I'm also seeing something about how you guys are going to be feeling like you are worthy you are proud of yourself for how far you've come. Um, I will say, though, I actually do see that there is going to be some sort of public recognition from others that I do. I am getting that for you. I, I feel like this could even be a change in terms to you guys are having a huge shock in your career field. You guys are making really big changes in terms to you wanting to start over on something, which could actually be leading to people wanting to talk about what you're doing or uh, getting to see, like, I'm seeing interest. I don't know why I'm seeing this. People are going to be interested in what you're doing in terms to your money and career. But I think the biggest thing that I'm feeling for you, wow, the stars on the bottom of the tarot deck. Yeah, I, I feel like you guys are going to be seen as someone that's like a trailblazer. But I feel like it's because you guys are learning to respect and admire how far you've come in terms to, again, how much work that you've been investing into whatever it is that you may you guys may be manifesting so i was really sensing money career stuff you guys were really focusing on that but it's so much deeper than that though like i think you are focused on your money and career like that is something that i'm sensing but it's like you guys are longing for so much more than just money and recognition and praise like i just i am getting that for you but right now it's like you guys are super focused on that because that's what everyone else is focused on that's what everyone else talks about right uh unfortunately we as people 
we as people are so focused on money and love and instant gratification and labels and like that's just society that's just people like we are so focused on the physical reality things unfortunately and the reason why you're so focused on it right now is because again it's almost like it's kind of put on to you that you need to be focused on these things but for you you guys are focused on this because you want to feel a certain way you don't want to feel like people are gossiping about you or judging you or making you feel like you're not good enough and I think as you guys have been going through this journey of isolation and kind of like focusing on yourself and tending to your wounds if you will you guys are finding that sense of purpose and hard work ethic as well as respect for yourself along the way that it won't actually really matter that these people will will start to give you the praise and the recognition that you once wanted. Um, so I want to say that you guys are going to be receiving a new beginning in terms to your money and career and how people see you, but I feel like what matters to you most is how much healing you've been doing. I think what you guys are longing for is the sense of fear, abandonment, neglect, and anxiety to go away. And I want to say to you right now, sorry, I have to cover this. I want to say to you right now, pile one, that is going away within the next 30 days. And it's because you guys are reaching a milestone in terms to something that you've been working really hard on something that you've been working really hard on. And I'm seeing that this is not just going to be something that you overcome. This is something that you guys are going to be exceeding past expectations. It's going to be exceeding past your expectations, other people's. And I'm actually seeing something about how people are going to be looking at you very, very differently. And I, I really do feel like you just don't care about that though. Like I'm, I'm saying by the time that you guys get this, you're not going to care as much about what people have to say about this achievement, I guess. Um, I think you guys are just starting to realize that you don't really care what people think about you as much. I actually was just talking to a client of mine about this when I, she bought a reading for me a couple days ago. In the reading, I was giving her this advice. It was actually like personal advice that I've... I've personally gone through this where I have, I actually still deal with a lot of social anxiety, but I'm trying to work on it and I think I hide it a lot better now than I used to. But there's going to be times where if I know you and I know that I can trust you, my social anxiety isn't there, but especially people that I first meet or strangers because of my insecurities, I'm so like afraid of how people will perceive me or this is how I used to be. Um, that it would be hard for me to even like want to be out in public sometimes. I wouldn't want people to look at me for too long because I'd be in my head thinking, oh, are they thinking I'm weird? Are they judging me? And one of the things that really helped me get over that is I learned, I, I mean, I'm not trying to call people out, but this is just what I've experienced. People are very selfish in nature. I mean, we have to be to survive pile one. But what I've learned over time is everyone in their own mind kind of perceives themselves as like the main character in their story, okay? And they see everyone else as like the NPCs, right? So like, for example, you could run into a stranger and they may judge you for like a split minute and they may be like, oh, that person's weird or oh, I don't like how they look or oh, I don't like their attitude. But for the most part, they're not going to remember you by the end of the day. Like we... <laughs> We are so selfish as people. So like if we're not close friends or family, if we don't make a huge impact on each other, if we're not involved in our lives, like if we don't find value in that person or they're not involved in our lives 24 seven, for the most part, we're going to forget about strangers and we're going to be literally out of sight, out of mind type of mindset in terms of people. And for some reason, that just really helped me get over some of my stage fright because I'm like, you know what? Even if I, like, make a fool out of myself and people think I'm fucking weird and, like, you know, I see this person only once in my life, for the most part, I'm so insignificant to this person that they're not going to remember me, like, <laughs> like a week from now or they're not even going to, like, it's not going to be that important to them that it's going to be coming up in their mind. Does that make sense, Pat One? So I'm kind of getting the same image in my mind where 
you are only going to be finding the value in other people's opinions if they're like in your everyday. Um, but even that though, I think you guys, you're still going to be really true to yourself, but it's like everyone else, like not, I, I love you guys. I do. But like people on the internet, if someone's trying to be a troll towards me and they're like saying really rude comments, I got to remind myself that I'm never going to see this person like in person. This person doesn't actually know me. Um, this is like a split moment in time where they're probably just just browsing on the internet and they came across my video and they want to like be like a keyboard warrior and go off and then they're going to go about their day and they're probably going to forget all about me. It's like one of those things and that's what I'm getting for you. You guys are going to be realizing that people don't care enough. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but like people are not going to be caring about the mistakes that you made one day or the outfit that you wore that made you, in your opinion, look dumb. Um, I think you guys are just realizing that other people's opinions just don't matter as much to you anymore. I think you're realizing the most important, um, <laughs> kind of losing my train of thought right now. Uh, the most important opinion is yours, right? And I'm hearing this phrase, I'm no longer going to be a prisoner of my mind. So that's another thing that I'm seeing for you is in the next 30 days, you're going to be learning on how to have compassion for yourself. I don't know why I'm seeing these cards all together now, but I'm seeing the seven of pentacles, the three of cups and compassion. You guys have been working really hard on something. This could be, again, your work ethic. This could just be maybe you're just really working on building a better self-esteem, uh, this can be so many things, but something that you value, you guys are working on it independently, regardless of what people are saying, because I am seeing outside influences. This could be gossip. It could just be other people, but I'm seeing people's judgments, perceptions, and words in the past have been really hard for you to deal with. And I'm seeing that you guys are having a lot more compassion for yourself through these ups and downs that we call life. And for some reason, I mean, it's not for some reason, but I'm seeing this as regardless of what people have been saying or not saying, Pile 1, you guys are reaching a huge milestone and all of this negative gossip from the past is actually turning into more positive. But it's like you guys are, again, I, I keep repeating myself, but it's like you guys are learning to have compassion for yourself that external validation doesn't make you as happy or make you as upset as it once did. You're really learning who you are and finding the love within yourself um, that you were once seeking within other people. And I'm hearing that it's because you guys wanted to feel something. So I don't really know what that means. But I've been rambling for a while, uh, Pile 1. So I do want to end your guys' video off with my um, charms and dice. But I just want to confirm that you guys are going to be receiving some sort of victory, confirmation, or huge milestone in terms to your money, career, reputation, or something that people can physically see or something that people know you for, okay? So that is something that I am seeing for you happening in the next 30 days. So what else is happening? What blessing or wish Okay, that key just wanted to come out. Some of you guys may be wanting to move. Maybe some of you guys are wanting to find answers for something. Let's see here. We have the North Node. We have Saturn. We have a Devil Symbol. We have Play. We have a Seahorse. Again, wow. What the heck? What am I hearing? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Why am I hearing that? I'm hearing, this is not even, I don't even know what this is. I think I just made this up in my head because I don't think this is a quote. But I'm hearing, oh, how the mighty have fallen, but the weak are strong. I don't know why, like, I'm getting something about how, wow, I'm hearing that you guys have had some enemies or something. I don't know why I'm hearing this for you. You guys are proving people wrong in the next 30 days. I'm, I'm seeing that so heavily for you. I'm seeing this devil as I'm seeing outside influences, people that have been sending you the evil eye, people that have been really petty because I'm seeing this as gossip for some reason. There's been a lot of people talking about you and it hasn't been very positive. There's been people talking about how um, they think that you guys are 
I don't even want to talk about the things that they're saying just because it's really negative and I don't want to enforce that. But you just have been, you have some people that are been, that have been haters towards you. They haven't been thinking very positive thoughts and I'm really sorry about that. But again, I was channeling how the mighty have fallen and the weak are strong or something like that. I don't know. I think that literally is just a random thing I just made up in my mind. <laughs> but I've seen something about how you guys are proving your worth. Like, yes, you may look weak or you may come off as timid or you may come off as someone that doesn't have a whole lot going on. But you guys are reaching some sort of milestone, something that you talked about that you would do. You guys are actually finishing that. You're reaching that goal. And you guys are making a name for yourself is what I just heard. This is something that you guys are still maybe receiving knowledge on. I feel like you guys are in the middle of learning this or you guys have been teaching yourself something new. It's like something in terms to schooling, learning, teaching. Like this was something that was newer for you, something that was kind of a little bit outside your comfort zone. This isn't something that just happened for you quickly. You had to either maybe physically go back to school to take classes on this, or this is something that was really piquing your interest and you wanted to learn more about it. And I'm seeing that people were doubting this, doubting that you couldn't do this, saying that, oh, I don't know, you know, it's kind of late in the game for this. You're, you're too old. Or maybe they thought maybe it was like a pipe dream and that this was something that only came to certain types of people. But I'm seeing something about how you guys are going to be either one graduating from something physically or you guys are actually going to be able to um, share your knowledge in terms to how much you've learned um, as you've been teaching yourself this thing and I'm seeing something about how because of the hard work and the dedication and the effort that you've been putting into learning more about this and teaching yourself new things, um, embracing new wisdom, it's going to be ending a cycle for you. And for some reason, for some reason, I'm seeing this as like a car key, which this does not look like a car key at all. But I'm seeing this as a car key for some reason. And I feel like this is going to be... Yeah, I'm seeing the chariot card in my mind now. So this could be talking about, you know, overcoming an obstacle, success through effort, a newfound form of confidence. But for a very unrelated note for someone, this could be a wish in terms to receiving a new vehicle or something in terms to travel that could be relevant for someone here as well. Um... But if it's not like physical travel as in cars or anything like that, I'm just seeing you guys are going to be receiving movement with something in terms to something that you feel like is your purpose, something that you felt like you were drawn to that you needed to to put yourself out there for, um, something that has been really difficult, it's been teaching you a lot, um, lots of delays, lots of blockages with this thing. I just see that you guys like you guys are getting yourself out of a rut you're like digging yourself out of a hole um yeah I just I really feel like you guys are overcoming a huge obstacle there is an ending to your suffering is what I'm hearing and it could have been you know during isolation you could have been feeling very alone going through all this we got the 10th house again do you see that you guys we got the 10th house the south node and cancer so again we got wow I, I really feel like your emotions, you guys are releasing emotions, you guys are releasing baggage, you guys are releasing traditions, you guys are releasing some sort of mindset that you used to have in terms to what makes you reputable, what would make you look good publicly, and also what would make you look more worthy or rich or, you know, money wise in terms to stable. I think you guys are releasing the the feelings and the habits that you had in terms to that. I think you guys are very focused on your money and career, but it's for a very different reason now. I think initially before you did it for other people, you did it for validation, but now you're doing it for yourself. You're doing it for how it makes you feel. Um, you're doing it for, again, maybe you guys have discovered your life purpose and maybe your life purpose is this career, right? But this is something that you guys actually enjoy. It's not because of other people anymore. And I think that's what you're going to be releasing in the next 30 days is other people's judgments and also 
past feelings on what you wanted to achieve from this. Um, wow. So just for you, I just pulled this card off the top of my deck. Another thing that's going to be happening in the next 30 days is, again, this is another message about friendship, collaboration, and relationships that will be happening in your life in the next 30 days. I was feeling for some of you that someone may be coming into a new friendship, possibly a new soulmate connection, um, but if not, I'm seeing that you guys are going to be meeting people that will be making you feel good. And I'm seeing Aries and Leo, right? We had Leo before. They're both fire signs. So you're going to be meeting people that um, instigate some sort of new inspiration in you, more passion in you, more warm, fuzzy feelings in you. But I'm also seeing something in terms to the people that you're going to be meeting in the next 30 days are going to be helping teach you how to be a leader, how to be a visionary, how to step up and be proud of yourself, right? I'm seeing this as more independent energy for you that you guys are going to be stepping into in the next 30 days. And these people that you're meeting are not just going to be recognizing this. They're going to be helping boost this energy um, and also, you know, bring these things out of you, right? So, yeah, Pile 1, I think that's it, though. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe down below. I'll be posting more videos like this in the future, and I will see all of you next time. Bye. Hey, Pile 2. Welcome to your pick a card reading about a wish that's going to be manifesting in your life in the next 30 days. And I couldn't help but think of your, the mushroom that you chose, and you have two mushrooms, and... I don't know why, but it made me think of two people, and then I was hearing a channeled phrase in my mind, I want you so much closer. So I can't help but think that you guys are manifesting some sort of intimacy with someone, and intimacy doesn't have to be sexual in nature either, pal too, but you want closeness either in a certain connection, maybe you guys are just manifesting closeness in general, you want to meet new people that you can feel a sense of belonging with, but I'm seeing this as long-term, stable, intimate connections with either a person or just people in general. I think I wish that's going to be manifesting in your life just from what I'm getting with your card and what I was channeling for you, Pile 2, is I feel like you guys are wanting a sense of, again, deeper intimacy. You guys want to be able to have long-term commitment in your life and not just love, but just you want to feel like these people are not going anywhere. Um, you want to feel a sense of security in your guys' relationships, but I'm also hearing something about how if you guys are manifesting specifically a soulmate or someone that you want to be with in terms to a love relationship, you guys will also want to make sure that I I'm getting that it's not just the sexual stuff. Like You want to feel like your partner is also like your best friend. So for some of you, this may just be an actual friend. You just want a close friendship, you want to have close relationships, or you guys are specifically manifesting a love relationship that's also like a best friend, companion, slash lover. But I'm seeing companionship is like the biggest thing that you guys are about to be blessed with in the next 30 days. So for some of you, I'm seeing that if you guys have been having issues with a current partner, I'm seeing something about how the cycle of learning that you've had to go through and any blockages or communication issues or anything like that. That's going to be coming to an end in the next 30 days. And I'm seeing that you guys are going to be receiving answers. So what you guys do with those answers is up to you. Like some of you guys may be leaving relationships so that you can find better people in your life. Some of you guys may just be overcoming issues with people in general so that you can have closer bonds. It's going to be different for each person. But what you're also going to be gaining is insight in the next 30 days. Um, I was seeing the Scorpio here, so it could be, there could be a, a Scorpio sun, moon, or rising that's involved in this, but I'm also hearing divine timing with this little pocket watch, but I'm seeing something about, again, getting deeper, um, anything that's been hidden from you, any secrets or lies or things that have been really confusing. In the next 30 days, you guys are gaining clarity on what you need to do to get the intimacy that you are longing for in these relationships, whether that mean 
fixing problems, um, you know, troubleshooting certain relationships, or releasing those relationships so that you can find better ones along the way. Again, it's going to be different for everyone here. Um, but whatever the case is, you guys, I really am hearing soulmate here. I think some of you guys are trying to manifest your soulmate. Yeah, I'm hearing bored in my head too. Like I'm seeing the sun here. You guys are longing for more. Like I'm hearing that you guys are craving it. You're desiring it. You are longing for intensity, for passion, for lust. And again, does it have to just be sexual? There may be some sexual stuff here, but you guys are wanting like yeah, intensity is like the biggest thing that I'm hearing. You guys are wanting intense connections. You guys are wanting long-term committed connections. You guys want like a ride or die person. Like you want to feel like that you get this person and they get you. Like you guys have found home in one another and you guys have a sense of belonging with one another. And for a lot of you, you guys are manifesting a soulmate or you guys are trying to find a friend that you guys can just vibe with. I don't know. But I'm hearing soulmate in my head. So you guys may actually be manifesting your soulmate to be appearing in your life in the next 30 days. I don't know if you're going to be with your soulmate in the next 30 days, but I'm hearing appear. So there could be a soulmate appearing in your life in the next 30 days. I'm also hearing no contact in my head now. So some of you guys may already know the soulmate or know your soulmate, and they may not even be in contact with you right now, or maybe you guys are having communication issues. I don't know. There's something about communication and no, and like a lack of communication as well as deepening bonds. So I'm telling you, like, I'm not going to be surprised if you hear from someone, like someone reaches out to you in the next 30 days and they may want to have like a talk or they may want to like, you know, explore a relationship with you or talk about making more intimate memories with you. I don't know why I'm hearing this, but it's making me think of love life issues that you've been having that's going to be coming to a halt for you in the next 30 days. And it's almost like a new cycle is going to be starting in terms to connections in your love life in the next 30 days. So that is what I was channeling. But let's see what else is going to be manifesting in your life in the next 30 days. So we have, wow, Eclipse and Aquarius. Your deeper resolve rises, awakening. So I'm seeing this being like the peak of the iceberg. This is making me think of like when, I don't know why I'm hearing this, when the plot thickens. <laughs> I'm hearing do it for the plot. So I think, I'm not going to lie, Pile, too. I do sense there's going to be a little bit of a stirring up of drama for you. I don't know. You guys are longing for like intensity. You guys are longing for intimacy. And for that intenseness that you want, you know, Obviously, it may be stirring up some drama, maybe stirring up the pot for you. So I actually see that the things that you guys, again, it's talking about the hidden, and this is talking about the hidden coming out into the surface. I'm seeing exposure here. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are coming to some sort of conclusion of something that you're wanting. Like maybe this is something that you didn't realize that you were lacking and you guys are going to be realizing that in the next 30 days. Uh, maybe someone could actually be coming out from hiding from you in the next 30 days and wanting to approach you and tell you, you know, oh, I've had this awakening about relationship. This is what I want. This is what I want to do. Or this could be seen as you, pal, too. But I'm seeing this as like some sort of like aha moment, some sort of breakthrough moment in terms to this is, is how this is how I've been feeling. I wasn't sure of myself, but I am now. This is what I've been hiding from you. Like, Oh my god, I'm hearing confession. You guys could be receiving a confession in the next 30 days or you guys could be confessing something in the next 30 days. And this is all about a wish. So I feel like this is something that you guys have been longing to do. If this is something that you want to do, Pile 2, maybe you've been wishing that you could do this, but maybe you were feeling afraid of doing it. Maybe you felt like you didn't have the balls to do it. Or maybe you've been wishing for someone to come up to you and be professing their love for you or being like, hey, I want to get to know you more. I want this out of our connection. Like, I'm even, I don't know why I'm seeing this. I'm seeing in my mind a person with flowers holding it behind their back and then they come up to you and then they show it to you like a surprise. Like, here, I was thinking of you. I want to give these to you. Like, I'm hearing like a surprise. 
I think this wish is going to be a surprise appearance, a surprise confession, some sort of pop-out situation. It's going to be kind of shocking. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Um, I'm going to move this down so you guys can see the cards better. I feel like you guys, the wish that you're manifesting has something to do with, again, just a connection becoming more clear. I think that's also what you guys are wanting to manifest is you are wishing for clarity on your connections. We have flourish here. So the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from any experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. A wish that you're getting is clarity on your love life, clarity on connections with others that you guys are questioning. Um, I think the clarity that you guys are going to be receiving could be through your own intuition, but I actually feel like someone is physically going to be traveling to you and wanting to talk to you about something. So I'm seeing this as actual communication heading towards your way so that you can be able to move on from this situation or you guys are going to be able to work on it or make something happen out of this. Um, so for some of you guys, you guys may be dealing with a situation ship right now, or maybe there's someone that you have a crush on or someone that you're not really sure where you're at in your connection. It just kind of feels like confusing. I'm seeing that you're getting clarity through conversation or if they're not literally telling you, you're going to be completely seeing what is going on through their body language and getting your own insight. But I'm seeing no more questions and confusing energy your way anymore so that you can focus on your long end game. So you can focus on your the commitments that you want to commit to, okay? And you may be like, that's kind of a weird blessing, but it's like, when you're confused about that kind of stuff, it can eat you alive, pile two. I, I promise you, like, being confused about connections or where you stand with people can be one of the worst things that I personally have ever gone through because it just, it, it takes up all of your energy, right? It's like, it makes you worry about it makes you worry about really petty stuff and silly stuff all day long to the point where you're just like, oh my god, I can't focus on my day. I just want to be able to get the answers so I can move on, right? Um, all right, so pile two, I'm going to go ahead and pull my tarot cards and see what are you manifesting? What wish? So we have the four of pentacles. Okay, let's pull some more cards here. I'm hearing a stubborn. Someone's been stubborn. We have the Knight of Cups here. I'm not even surprised by that. Yeah, someone's stubborn. Oh my. <laughs> you guys are literally manifesting someone that's stubborn to finally... Look at this. The Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups here. This is like some back and forth energy here. This is some back and forth. This is literally... You know what this is making me think of, Pal 2? This is someone like... I don't want to. I'm just going to focus on myself. Like, I, I, this is stubborn energy. Like, I don't want to deal with anything. But then they get the urge of like, okay, I, I feel like I'm ready to initiate something. And then emotionally, they're like, ah, no, I'm going to walk away from this. Like, this is too hard. And then it's like when both people are ready, that's when you guys are connecting. I feel like this is your energy and someone else's where you guys both have been going through I don't know how to explain this. It's like both of you guys have been mirroring each other's energy in terms to you guys are stubborn being like, oh, they should reach out to me first or, oh, they should be the ones that initiate this conversation or, oh, this person should be the one trying to fix things. And then the other person's like hopeful, you know, they're ready to initiate something, but the other person's like, no, I'm not ready. And then it flip flops and it's like the other person's ready to talk. And then the other person's like, no, I don't want to talk to you. Like, it's kind of like, a yo-yo. It's like a yo-yo relationship, right? Where you guys kind of like take turns trying to initiate something. The other person's being too stubborn to hear the other person out or to listen or to even feel the feelings that they're feeling. And I'm seeing something about how you guys, I feel like you guys emotionally walked away or you're about to emotionally walk away from something Oh, you know, no, 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 no. Scratch what I just said. You know what I'm hearing with this card? <laughs> oh my God, pile two. Oh my God. Okay, I usually would see the Eight of Cups as walking away from something, giving up on something. 
this person, what you guys are manifesting, a wish that's coming true. I don't know if this is going to be you or if this is going to be the other person. Someone is finally taking initiative and actually making the effort to come to the other person and either apologize or connect with that person, um, you know, try to get to the root of the issue with that person. But I'm seeing this as open heart, open feelings, talking things out, and both people are mutually like opening up to each other. And I think the problem was that this wasn't happening before because you guys were chickening out or the other person was chickening out or both of you guys were. And I'm seeing that someone's going to be finally putting their foot down and being like, enough is enough. I need to get answers. I need to talk this out. Something actually needs to happen. And someone is literally going forward to you or you're going forward to that person. And you guys are going to be getting the clarity, the answers, and possibly the emotional mutual affection that you've been longing for from this person. And if this is maybe if this is like for you guys, pal too, if you're like, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't have anyone like this. I'm seeing that you guys are manifesting a person to come into your life that maybe you didn't know about. If this is someone that you don't know who I'm talking about, pal too, this could be a person that has thought about reaching out to you, but then just hasn't. And then they decided to actually just, you know, <laughs> you know, like just rip the bandaid off and they're finally going to be meeting up with you and reaching out to you. So it could be a lot of different messages here, but I'm just seeing that you guys are finally going to be seeing um, what you've been feeling. You've been feeling like this person has been wanting to talk to you or you've been feeling like something's been needing to happen and you've been thinking like, I feel like this person's going to message me or I feel like something's going to happen, but I don't know. You guys are going to be seeing the physical proof of that. Like, basically, you guys are going to be having a person wanting to talk to you, um, get to know you, vibe with you, or you guys are going to be the ones initiating this and things are going to progress. So that's basically what I'm hearing for you is you guys are manifesting communication. You guys are manifesting some sort of relationship to bloom, to blossom. And it's funny because look at the bottom of this deck here. We had a card for you that said flourish and this card also says flourish, but look at what it says. Love, Moon and Libra, 19, bring peace to your life and your relationships will flourish. I feel like you guys are focusing, right now I feel like you guys are trying to bring peace and passion into your life, but for you to have that, you need to figure out your love situation and I'm seeing something about something blossoming, something becoming better. Your love life and relationships are going to be feeling like they're finally like becoming abundant. Something's finally like in the growing season. You know what I mean? It almost feels like your your love life and your connections has been like in a winter season. It feels like it's been like a drought. It's like your crops have been dying. It's been snowing. It's been cold. You've been kind of in like hibernation remission type of energy and it seems like you guys are entering like a cycle of spring in terms to your love life and connections where new people are going to be entering your life new you know the relationships that you have that's almost going to be showing new signs of growth right it's making me think of like the cycles of your love life and connections are entering into a growing healing and healthy happy phase um, so if that's something that you've been struggling with and confused about that is ending for you in the next 30 days of how to. So that's pretty straightforward from what I'm getting for you, pile two. So I'm going to be ending your guys' video off with my charms and my dice. And that will be about it. But you know what? Just for you, I want to see what zodiac sign this person is that's going to be coming forth or entering in your guys' life so you guys can kind of get an idea. So they could be a Scorpio. We got Scorpio right here too. So Heavy on the Scorpio, we have Scorpio, Gemini, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I want to see how this person may be coming forward, if I can get any details. Let's see. First house, so in person. So you guys are going to be seeing each other in person. Mercury is communication, so this could also be online also. And then we have Aquarius, which again talks about sudden. It's the unexpected. It's like breaking out of routine. So I actually feel like if you guys are used to 
being the initiator of talking through cell phone or online this person may be wanting to change it up and actually like come to you like actually <laughs> like actually physically travel and talk to you face to face um maybe this person is going to be breaking the no contact situation if this is something that you're dealing with but i'm seeing like an unexpected action on their part or on your part like this is something that's not typical for how you guys interact with each other so and I'm seeing communication here, especially. So I feel like communication has been a bit of a sore spot or something that has been lacking in this connection. And that is something that you guys are going to be receiving. And I'm also seeing that if you don't know who I'm talking about, this is someone that you haven't met yet. This person may be wanting to like friend request you on something or initiating a conversation through your DMs or something. Like I'm seeing this as... They're going to be like taking charge and reaching out to you and it's going to be surprising you because you're going to be like, whoa, like, where did this come from? Like, I don't know this person. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit shocking. So that is what I'm hearing for you. So let's continue back to my charms and see what wish is about to be manifesting in your life in the next 30 days. And look at that. Of course, the pendulum came out. Do you see this? This always makes me think of not being able to talk, right? This is like literally, it's totally making me think of <laughs> the Three of Swords too. And we also have the Porcupine. There's so much cold energy here. Someone is finally stopping being fucking stubborn. This literally makes me think of like, again, the Four of, uh, sorry, that's the Four of Swords. The Four of Pentacles is all about holding on to something for dear life only being focused on that thing, right? But this is making me think of like a paperclip that you undid. Someone is doing something out of character for themselves. Someone is literally letting and releasing their ego so that they can get the answers and the clarity that they need. This is, this is a pendulum. We use pendulums to get answers, right? To find direction, to, you know, get insight on things. And it looks like someone's like so done with holding on to their feelings, not knowing what's going on in a connection. They're like, I'm so tired of this. I need to open up. I need to be able to, you know, scream for the rooftops. Like this is making me think of like, literally, look at how different this is. <laughs> Muffled, no communication to singing, right? Singing, you have to belt out your voice. You have to be loud. This is making me think of someone like wanting to literally just say what's on their mind, be very open, clear, and blunt. Um, and again, this is very out of character for this person, whether you know this or not. Again, we got crazy in this. Like, someone wants to be able to come forward and say what they've been thinking. And this has been something that they have been thinking for a while, but they haven't had the guts to say it to you until now. Or if this is you, this could be the other way around. So just take what applies, pile two. But I'm also seeing this as somewhat, what is going on here? Why am I seeing as that? Someone in this connection, you know why this person's going to be coming forward, pile two? Whether this is you or take what resonates for whatever, you're either going to be taking action on this person because you're seeing that they're hurting or this person's going to be taking action on you because they see that you guys are hurting. And I'm saying hurting because I'm seeing this as like a mental and emotional heartbreak. I don't know... And it's like someone's like praying here. I see the moon here too. It's like someone's grieving or going through some sort of heartbreak, loss, betrayal. Someone's praying for them to save them is what I, wow. Someone's manifesting either a soulmate to come to them or manifesting a specific person to come to them because they don't really know what to do. Like, I'm seeing someone specifically, like, at night praying, like, please, God, send me the person that I'm supposed to be with. Send me my best friend. Or, please, God, help me fix this connection with my person. Like, I need help. I don't know what else to do. It's like they're at a crossroads. They feel heartbroken over this. They don't know how to move forward. It's like because of that prayer that you had or because of the prayers that this other person had, I don't know who it's going to resonate for, how this is going to be related for each party here. That prayer is being answered. That prayer is literally being answered here. Like, I'm seeing someone coming forward to you in this very moment or you're going to be making action towards that person because of a prayer that someone made or someone manifesting through their heartbreak. And it's going to be literally 
opening up a new conversation with this person. I'm seeing cups here. There's a cup here. This is making me think of a coffee shop, like someone inviting you to go to a coffee shop and having a conversation. Porcupine, make, porcupine makes me think of um, timid, right? But it's also like you guys have your walls up. It's like you guys are so afraid of getting hurt here. I, I think this is someone that you want to open up and talk to and get to know. Um, or if you don't know this person yet, this will be someone that you guys actually will find to be very enjoyable. But there's just so much like heartbreak and betrayal maybe from past relationships here that's getting in the way of this connection um or just communication issues i don't know but what you're manifesting is action uh, momentum something finally happening someone finally speaking up in whatever connection this is that's going to be leading to a resolution here like finally you guys have been praying for this hoping for this wanting this and it's finally coming your way whether this be through your own actions or through someone else's actions in the next 30 days that is what i'm seeing here so let's end your video off with my dice and that will be about it yeah pile two <laughs> wow pile two you are turning a fantasy into a reality i don't know why i'm seeing this when I see Venus, this is making me think of, you know, attraction, the things that you guys like. Um, again, relationships, partnerships. The third house is communication. This is perception. This is your mind. The Pisces makes me think of daydreams, fantasies, illusions, and the hidden. Someone is going to be wanting to talk about their feelings. That's what's happening right now. In the next 30 days, someone is confessing how they feel about this other person. Someone is talking about, you know, what they want in a relationship, the fantasies, the dreams that they desire, right? What they actually desire in relationships. This could even be a person confessing how they feel about you. This could be someone telling you that they're, you're, you're, sorry, I'm stuttering, that you're their dream person. Like, I'm seeing this as, like, fantasy, Delulu energy, um daydream energy that you guys are finally putting into words wow i don't know why but i almost feel like this even could be like involving like music or something i don't know why i'm hearing this like why am i hearing lana del rey i don't know why i'm i'm channeling some really weird things but i'm seeing even the sing yeah we did get sing maybe this person that's coming forward they don't really know how to word like three words how they're feeling so maybe they're going to be like sending you a song in hopes that you may interpret this as how this is how they feel about you or maybe sending you song lyrics or maybe this person may actually be writing you a song i'm seeing that this is something in terms to like creativity and art for some of you guys this may not resonate for everyone here but some of you guys may be wanting to profess feelings through music or through art or someone's going to be doing that towards you in hopes that you get the message that way but for most of you um pile two i'm seeing that someone's going to be basically declaring their love for you or declaring how they feel about you telling you how much they like you or how much they admire you um and this is someone that may have been hidden from you for a while. This is someone that maybe needed to do some healing. Um, maybe this person may actually be giving you the closure that you need on a relationship because it could be different for everyone here. But you guys are getting answers. Someone's going to be very emotionally open and available to you so that you can finally get the, the stuff that you're needing from this connection. Okay, so pile two, that is all that I have for you. So I really hope that this helped you, and if it did, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe down below. I'll be posting more videos like this in the future, and I will see all of you next time. Bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your pick a card reading about what wish is about to be coming true for you in the next 30 days. So even with your guys' mushroom, it was growing, right? Um, you guys have a card that I have laid out for you already that says number 35, focus on it. And I can't help but think that it reminds me of the Ace of Wands. I don't know why it was making me think of that. Um, but this is like growth for a new opportunity. So I actually feel like something that you guys are focused on currently or what you're manifesting right now is you guys are wanting some sort of movement 
travel, rapid change, or something to happen for you. And I'm seeing within the next 30 days or so, you guys are going to be seeing growth in whatever it is that you're focusing on. So what you guys have been investing a lot of time and energy into, something that you guys have been thinking about every day, I'm seeing an opportunity to travel or an opportunity for something to become bigger or something exciting to happen. Because when you think of wands, right? Wands is all about your desires, your wants, your passions, um, any actions that you want to happen in your life. Like I'm seeing you guys being presented an opportunity for you to take action on a desire of yours. So that is something that I'm seeing happening for you in the next 30 days. And I'm seeing that you guys, you're going through a sense of development. I don't know why I'm hearing this for you. There's a sense of growth and development and learning that you have been going through for the past while now. And whatever this opportunity is that's being presented to you is because of all the knowledge that you guys have been obtaining through this learning that you've been going through. So I don't really know how that's going to resonate for everyone here at Pile 3, but I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling some other cards and see if we can get some more details about this manifestation or this wish that's going to be manifesting for you. Wow, that's a Sagittarius energy. We have Sagittarius right here, and then we also have a card that I just pulled for you that says Eclipse and Sagittarius success after a setback growth. I was just saying movement. I was just literally saying growth. So this is definitely... Um, you know, correlating with what I just said. But you guys are literally about to see movement, growth, and it looks like this is something that you guys have been dealing with. You've been wanting to see growth and movement. But again, I was kind of getting that you guys were going through a period of development and learning and trial and error. And it seems like this is something that you have been I'm hearing suffering. So this may have been something that you guys have been dealing with, suffering with, or something that has been, you know, really hard for you. You've been struggling with being able to get this off the ground is what I'm hearing. But it seems like in the next 30 days that you're finally going to be reaching some sort of improvement or success after delays. Because it seems like this has been delayed or this hasn't been going the way that you've been wanting it to because your guides have been wanting you to, again, experiment. They've been wanting you to learn, uh, try new things, and possibly you guys are just in the middle or maybe you were in the beginning of, you know, being seen as a be beginner or a novice. Like you needed to learn a little bit more before you stepped into the limelight is what I'm hearing. Wow, you guys, this is on the bottom of the deck. More Sagittarius energy. This is crazy. Moon and Sagittarius discovery, freedom and adventure. There's so much Sagittarius. So if you guys have any Sagittarius placements, this is definitely a confirmation that this reading is for you. So that would be sun, moon, or rising. So if you have a Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising, this is confirmation that, that this reading is definitely for you. And I'm seeing something about how you guys have been in the middle. I was telling you discovering, right? The process, I'm hearing process of elimination in my head. So I don't really, I don't really know what that means. Um, but I feel like you guys have been in the process of, you know, figuring out your groove, trying new things, trial and error. You guys have been learning, experiencing new things so that you guys can gain the knowledge and the wisdom that you need to be able to have this success that you guys are desiring, right? You guys may even be in school right now is what I'm hearing. This could be very literal. You guys could be an apprentice or you guys could be going to school to gain more knowledge and information about a job or career that you're investing in. Um, so that could be something that, you know, resonates with you. And it seems like you guys are about to be ending that or you guys are coming really close to a milestone of yours in terms to school or career, right? But if not, I'm just seeing that what you're focusing on, what you're learning about, what you guys are trying to improve and get better at is going to be showing some sort of improvement, success, or, you know, victory in the next 30 days or so for you. So that is exciting. I'm also hearing something about how I'm seeing that your spirit guides have been trying to keep you in the dark about something. I don't know why I'm hearing that for you. Um, I'm getting that your life right now when it comes to this desire, this thing that you're focusing on, 
it's been feeling like you've been in the dark for a while. There's been a lot of confusion. I'm going to move this. Sorry, you guys. There's been a lot of confusion. There's been a lot of mystery surrounding what's going to be happening next for you. Um, I'm hearing there's been a lot of delays in terms to this is what I'm hearing. Like something is not being shown to you purposefully. And I think it's because your spirit guides are wanting you to go through a sense of like, <laughs> why am I hearing this? Uh, a passionate phase of like, I'm going to prove people wrong or why is this not happening? And it like charges you up with like anger or it charges you up to even be better. Like, I don't know why I'm seeing this, but it's like, the more limitations and the more blockages that are put on you, pile three, um, the more that it makes you motivated to keep reaching this goal. So like usually people would want to give up if there is blockages and delays, but it's like the complete opposite for you. It actually pisses you off so much that it's like, no, I, I, I can't accept this. I need to be better. I need to win. It's like you're really competitive, right? Um, this competitiveness in you, it's like you are always willing and always wanting to improve more and more and more, like perfectionistic. Um, I'm seeing this as Patrick Bates uh, from American Psycho. He's like, you could always be skinnier. You could always be prettier. Like constantly just challenging himself all the time because he just wants to be better than how he was yesterday. This is you. I, I feel like this is your energy. You guys are constantly trying to challenge yourself to be the best of the best. Like you're never going to be satisfied until you feel like you guys have finally reached your potential. And I think that's why all of these delays have been happening because your spirit guides know this about you. They know your potential. They know that you could be better. They know that you guys have a lot of will to succeed. And where you were even just like a month ago, you guys have learned a lot and you've expanded a lot and you're just going to keep getting better but they feel like your guides feel like at this moment in time that you've learned enough that you're ready to be noticed or you're ready to show off this knowledge to the world and I'm actually sensing that you're going to be like taking off on this new journey things are going to start moving you're going to keep learning and growing and becoming even better over time um but there's like so much potential with you. I don't know what this is for you, Pile 3, but I'm just getting this energy of like, you guys are going to be so big one day. Like, I don't know how this is going to be relating, but it's like, you guys think that you're good right now, but I'm seeing within like the next year, you're going to be so surprised at yourself and be like, wow, I did that. Like, you're just, you're getting better every day. I just, I think, yeah, I'm hearing exponential growth in my mind. I think this is like a journey of, you know, creating this for yourself. Like, you're good now. You've gotten a lot better since before, but it's like you're just going to keep improving more and more and more and more. But what I want to say for you is what you're manifesting is you're manifesting progress to be seen. You're manifesting the progress to be known, and you're reaching a milestone in the next 30 days. That's what I'm hearing for you. So we have come together here. It says, fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. So I'm actually seeing that some of you guys may be having the wish of a community. So maybe you guys are manifesting people to help you on this journey. This could be seen as mentors, uh, bosses, leaders. Again, opportunities could be coming to you through other people as well. So you guys are manifesting some sort of new exciting opportunity, um, maybe employment. Maybe you guys are wanting to be recognized for something. And I'm seeing that you guys are manifesting people into your life. I don't know how that's going to resonate. And on the bottom of this deck, it says ask for help. So I'm seeing that you guys are going to be manifesting people that want to help you, people that want to offer you things, people that want to reach out. And I don't know how this is going to relate, but I'm seeing people in terms to wanting to work with you, wanting to help you out, wanting to offer you guidance, money, advice, or even job opportunities, or even just opportunities for movement that you're wanting. Um, but I'm seeing this coming to you after a period of your life of you being in solitude. So I'm kind of sensing that you guys have been doing something solo and independently, but you're getting to the point where you're you're reaching a point in your life where you're getting ready to want to branch out. You're you're manifesting opportunities through people. I just I keep hearing that. So I'm just gonna stick to that message. 
you guys are manifesting help and opportunities through people. And I actually feel like your angels and spirit guides are sending the right people to you to help give you some sort of assistance or help boost you or help be able to give you the success. Um, you've been doing a lot of this by yourself and you've done a really great job, but it seems like you guys are needing the right type of people to notice what you're doing, the right type of people to help motivate you, um, offer you assistance, or even just offer you these opportunities that you need to become more evolved the way that you're wanting to be. So that is what I'm hearing for you so far. Pile three. So let's pull, go ahead and pull my tarot cards and see what wish is about to be coming true for you in the next 30 days. And I just dropped a tarot card. So hold on here. Um, oh, wow. This is great. So you guys got the sun. So the sun is positivity. The sun is positive. Um <laughs> Sorry, the sun is positivity, the sun is happiness, uh, the sun is radiance, right? You need the sun for plants to grow and flourish and uh, prosper. So you guys, I, you know what I'm hearing just from this one card alone? You know how you need the sun, like I just said, you need the sun for plants to grow and to thrive and to be happy? You guys are manifesting a key component to be able to make your manifestations flourish. You guys are seeking growth, but you're lacking that one thing that's external from you. So you can't produce the sun, but you have everything else ready for the sun to make these seeds flourish. You guys are finally manifesting that last key component that you need to either be recognized or to get the success that you want or the validation that you need. I, I think you need other people to help you with this last thing. I think you've done everything that you could do individually pile three um so your spirit guides are sending you people to help get the ball going for you um you need these other people or you need these opportunities from these other people to help escalate you the way that you want it to be done um so this could be business partnerships, this could be collaborations, this could be, you know, friends that want to help you. We got the emperor, so I'm seeing this as there could actually be someone that is an authoritative figure or someone that has a lot of power or this is someone that's really reputable or someone that actually could have monetary gain that's watching you and observing you at this time and they may want to offer you some sort of stability uh, guidance, mentoring, or even an opportunity here. But I'm seeing that you guys, you, wow. Yeah, I'm seeing this for you guys. You guys are literally manifesting a really awesome opportunity from someone that may have been doing this for a while. This could be someone that's very powerful in their field. This is someone that could have a lot more money than you do or someone that has knowledge that you guys are needing or the resources that you're needing to make this thing that you're focused on to take off. And they may have been watching you for a while and I'm actually hearing something about how you remind them of how they were then when you were younger or something about them... Um, there's something about you and this person that's similar or relatable or you remind them of someone that they know or maybe you remind them of them when they were younger, but they're going to be taking a liking to you is what I'm hearing. And this person is going to be wanting to help boost your stamina or something about how they want to be able to help you flourish and whatever this is that you guys are focused on. They want to be able to help you feel like you are confident in what you're doing. They want to be able to make sure... Um, that you guys are being recognized for the work that you put out because I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles as someone that's being recognized for the fruits of their labor. This is someone that's reaping the rewards from their past efforts. This is someone that's in their individual energy, right? They're in their confident individual energy of, I did this on my own. And also they're going to be feeling and knowing their worth, right? They're going to be knowing that they're worthy of the things that they're about to receive. And I really feel like this is going to be a person that your spirit guides are sending you, right? They're sending you either people or a person in particular that's very powerful or someone that has a lot of tools that could help you improve. And whatever this is, is going to be bringing you either the validation that you need to keep going to improve and become better, or this could even be seen as opportunities for growth and career uh, development or even just money opportunities. But I'm seeing this as 
physical stuff here. So I'm seeing physical growth and movement. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands here. So there is going to be, I'm actually seeing multiple opportunities here. So this person is going to be giving you multiple opportunities or you guys are going to be receiving not just from this person, but from other people, opportunities. Like I'm seeing this as growth, travel, movement, the unexpected here. Um, your spirit guides are telling you to listen to your intuition and choose what you guys feel guided to because I, I really do feel like there's going to be more than just one person wanting to help you at this time. There's one person in particular that your spirit guides really want you to work with or they really want you to listen to, but there's going to be other opportunities as well that you may enjoy. Some of them may be flukes, but some of them may actually be good offers as well. But I'm seeing this being like the the one and done deal for you. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Um, but I'm seeing this as, again, donations. People want to help you, assist you, give you guidance. Um, I'm seeing that there's something in terms to you guys are literally going to go from, in the next 30 days, you're literally going to be going from feeling unseen, feeling like people aren't listening to you, people feeling like you, you know, you're not, you people don't know you, right? To feeling like people are loving you, validating you, and feeling discovered in a way, right? This is making me think that people just didn't know who you were, or you felt like you were an ugly duckling, if you will, or feeling like you guys were doing something that other people weren't really paying attention to or you felt like you're wasting your time and it's literally going from like one extreme to the other extreme people feeling like they're validating your existence basically um, you're going to be feeling very emotionally satisfied with what's going to be happening in the next 30 days feeling like you guys everything that you've done in the past 30 days or so it feels like it was worth it um I think you guys are just going to be feeling really worthy and really good of the work that you've been doing. And it's going to be feeling like you didn't waste your time. That's basically what it's going to be feeling like for you. Um, which that is awesome, pile three. So I want to end your guys' video off with my charms and my dice. And that will be about it. So what wish is about to be... Wasn't I seeing being discovered and the fucking glasses landed on that? That is so funny. Um, and the butterfly... <laughs> What wish is about to be coming true for pile three? Okay. So we have a Cupid. We have four. We have this one flew over here. We have a little tornado. We have follow. We have Mars. We have this little windy path. We have freedom here. Okay. So what I'm seeing so far is again... There's something about you guys feeling like you're not being recognized for something. You are you feel like people aren't seeing the efforts of what you've been doing. And that's going to be changing. It's like, or you guys feel like what you're doing isn't making an impact. And you're finally going to be getting the results that you want. But I'm seeing results. That's basically what I'm seeing is you guys are literally seeing results. This is going to be the time where you guys are becoming, because when you think of butterflies, they're in that cocoon phase, right? It's kind of out of sight, out of mind. They're in that solitude, hidden moment of healing, growing, and transforming. And right now, in the next 30, well, in the next 30 days, pile three, you guys are about to be noticed or seen or something that you've been doing is finally going to be showing effort and profit. Um, it's no longer going to be hiding or kind of just sitting there and stalling. I'm seeing this as movement, growth, and new beginnings for you. There's going to be a transformation from literally the Eight of uh, Swords to the Queen of Cups here. Uh, very different energy. We also have Mars. So I'm seeing this. You know what I'm really seeing for you? Wow. Okay. So I'm actually, again, I'm seeing this as taking action and I'm seeing this as a windy road where there's been a lot of trials, ups and downs. Things have been not the straight and narrow for you. I'm seeing this as, again, finally you are overcoming this huge, like, impasse. Like, you guys are finally overcoming an obstacle. Things are finally starting to pick up for you. Some of you guys may actually be receiving, if this is something that's talking about like an online platform or something like that, you guys may be receiving followers, people liking your stuff, people wanting to subscribe to you. Like, And if it's not talking about that, I'm just seeing that you guys are going to be seen as the leader, right? You're going to be having people that respect you and want to 
uh, follow your work if this is work related or there's going to be people that look up to you or admire you I'm kind of seeing this as fans I'm not gonna lie like you're gonna be having people that respect what you're doing and they may be seen as fans or people that appreciate what you're doing with whatever it is that you're focusing on um, and they may want to either compliment you or maybe they may want to copy you or these people may actually just be you know validating like hey like I've seen what you've done and I really like it you've done a really great job with this like keep up the good work um the other thing that i'm seeing here too and again i'm seeing this as falling in love here freedom this has been a moment in time where it's been very cold and nothing's been happening it's been hibernation you guys are freeing yourself from the hibernation people are falling in love with your work or maybe you're falling back in love with your work i don't know but it's like it's almost like a it's like the God, I feel like God is purposefully doing this for you. Like, I feel like this is the right place at the right time. This seems like this is in divine timing. Again, angel imagery is coming up here. We had an angel here and an angel here. It's like God, the universe, spirit guides, whatever you believe in, they're basically enforcing this to happen for you. They're aligning things to happen in the right time for you, the right people to come into your life, the right opportunities, uh, the right time for you to take action on something. This feels very faded for me. I feel like this is something that has been delayed purposefully because they wanted it to kind of align all perfectly so that everything would go smooth sailing for you. Because I'm seeing something about how if you were to do this in the time that you wanted it to happen, it would have been seen as almost like a tower moment. Like I almost feel like this could have been like an instant, uh, for example, let's just use, you know, the internet as an example. You go viral on TikTok or something and it's like a one and done type of situation where you're like you get a video that gets a lot of views and then after that it's like really stagnant. They want something that's like long term for you. They don't want this to be something that's like a one and done or a fluke accidental thing where it's like, you don't really know how it happened and you don't know how to recreate that momentum again. They want something that's stable for you. And I'm also getting something about how you guys have been going through a lot of tower moments as of late. And I'm hearing the number seven. So this could be like seven days, seven months, seven years. Or seven can actually be talking about the month of July. So maybe since the month of July, this has been a really difficult period of your life for you. And I'm seeing that that has not just been all for nothing. I'm seeing this as moving things out of your life so that you can make space for these new beginnings that are about to enter your life in the next 30 days. Okay, so let's go ahead and end your guys' video off with my dice and that will be about it. All right, pile three. So let's go ahead and see what wish is about to come true in the next 30 days. So we have the 12th house, we have Gemini, and we also have Aries. So again, I'm really seeing something about being seen here. Um, being noticed, closure. Um, you guys are ending a cycle and then something's starting anew. And the reason why I'm saying that is when I see the 12th house, this makes me think of the hidden. This can also talk about karma. Um, this talks about healing and closure and what you dream about. So this is usually dreams and things that we want, but usually these are things that we don't put any action towards. It's like things that we wish we could have. But then we have Aries. So like this is the last of the Zodiac and this is the baby. So it's like literally ending a a cycle you're closing a cycle you're going from like the end of a chapter to a new chapter but i'm also seeing something about how there is a dream or a hope or a goal that you wish that you could pursue and you're actually making initiative or making plans to go after that you're not just thinking about it you're not just wishing that you could do it you're not just talking about how you wish you could do this um, not just talking about it with other people. I'm seeing this as setting plans into motion. This could even be something that you're still learning about, right? You're still figuring out the ropes of what this is, but at least you're taking initiative on this. And I'm seeing within the next 30 days or so for you, Pile 3, that you guys are going to be seeing movement. I just I keep seeing that. You guys are starting up on something new. If you're not seeing the movement that you want, by the end of the 30 days, I'm just seeing that you guys are starting or initiating something up that could be leading to all of this. Like you guys are starting a new cycle. A new beginning is literally on the horizons for you. Um, I want to go ahead and pull one more card for you just to end this. We got lots of, we got a lot of moon stuff here and we also have the sun. So it's like a cycle that's ending, right? 
And it says, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. So your spirit guides are telling you that you may be in the dark right now. Things may be hidden from you. Things seem really confusing. But your spirit guides want you to know that this is the time where inspiration is going to literally be at your doorstep and it's going to be asking you to take a chance on yourself. But I'm also seeing that in this moment of feeling weak or in this moment of not having all the answers, again, it's like making me think night and day difference. There also could be a person coming to you. This person's literally looking up, not paying attention to this fairy looking at her saying, hey, I want to talk to you about this. I want to give you guidance on this. So unexpected help from someone or again, something that happens or changes in a moment that you didn't see coming. But I think that's all that I have for you, Pile 3. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps boost my channel so that the algorithm picks up on it and shows my readings to other people just like you and people that I hope that I can help with my, uh, my words, I guess. <laughs> uh, but I will see all of you guys next time and toodaloo!